Hey guys, today I have an important update for those of you who receive social security benefits, whether that's social security disability, social security retirement, VA benefits, railroad retirement benefits, SSI. If you fall into one of these categories, you have not yet received your stimulus check or you received the wrong amount, this video is for you, so keep on watching. <laughs> What's up everybody, Michael here. Welcome back to another video. Before we get started, please be sure to like the video down below. Leave a comment with your takeaways, thoughts, or questions that you have on today's video. So anyways, let's jump right into it and I'm gonna go over each of the different benefits. And I'm gonna go over the timeline and what you need to do in order to make sure you receive the correct amount for your stimulus check. So let's start off with Supplemental Security Income, SSI. With SSI, you could be in three different categories for receiving payments. The first is if you filed your taxes and you receive SSI benefits. If you filed your taxes, you should have already received your stimulus check. They should have already gotten those out to you by now if you're on SSI benefits and you file your taxes. However, if you are on SSI benefits and you do not file your taxes, you can expect to receive your stimulus check by the second week of May. And they're still working with the government agencies to ensure that you get the right amount deposited. Moving on, let's talk about if you get Social Security benefits and you have a dependent who is 16 years of age or younger. If you have a dependent who is 16 years of age or younger, you need to make sure to use the non-filers tool. On the non-filers tool, you need to make sure to input your name and social security as well as the name and social security numbers of each person in your family. In addition, to, you need to include your address as well as your direct deposit information so they can get the stimulus checks to you as soon as possible. So if you receive supplemental security income and you do not file your taxes, it is best to just use the non-filers tool. Don't use the get my payment tool, use the non filers tool. If you get supplemental security income and you don't file your taxes, you have until later today on Wednesday to do this to ensure that you get your right amount as soon as possible. If you wait till after today, you might not receive it as quickly and you could possibly see receive the wrong amount. You might not get the amount if you have a dependent. Okay, next let's talk about social security disability, social security retirement, as well as railroad retirement benefits. All of these people who fall into these categories should receive their check at the same time. They should be receiving the check before the end of April. So within the next week, week and a half, you should be receiving your check. If you don't normally file your taxes, you don't need to do anything in order to receive your stimulus check. You can use the non-filers tools, however, if you would like to just ensure that everything's going to the right place and everything is set correctly. Again, don't use the get my payment tool if you don't normally file your taxes. If you don't normally file your taxes, make sure to use the non-filers tool, but you should be receiving your payment before the end of April. And the way you'll be receiving this check is however you normally receive your social security benefits, that's the same way you should be receiving your stimulus check because the IRS is working with your individual agency to make sure that you get your payments the same way, you get the correct amount, you get them securely. So whether you get that directly deposited via check, however you normally get it, you'll get it that same way. But if you'd like to make sure you're getting it directly deposited, use the non-filers tool. Next up is VA benefits. If you receive VA benefits, you do not have to do anything in order to receive your stimulus check, just like the other benefits I previously spoke about. If you don't file your taxes, you don't have to do anything. It'll just be sent automatically. However, they do recommend that you use the non-filers tool just to ensure everything is correct and you will be getting your payment. In addition to this, if you have a child who is 16 years of age or younger and you wanna make sure that you will receive that additional $500 check, for that dependent, you need to make sure to use the non-filers tool. That is the only case where you have to use the non-filers tool. And when you're scheduled to receive these payments, well, they haven't yet determined a date. The IRS is currently working with this agency to determine a way to get the payments to you as quickly and securely as possible. And they're still working on adding the code to the site in order to be able to get these payments to you securely. So they haven't yet determined a date, but when they do, I'll keep you guys updated to let you know when they've determined a date to get this to you. So you guys have a little bit more time to use the non-filers tool, but it's annoying that they haven't gotten this figured out yet. Essentially, if you receive any benefits, whether that's social security, railroad retirement, VA, any sort of benefits, if you normally file your taxes, you should have already received 
this stimulus check. If you have not yet filed your taxes, well, you have to wait a little bit longer because they're working with the individual agencies to ensure that you are getting the payments quickly and securely. So if you receive these benefits, you don't have to use any online tools except if you have a dependent who is 16 years of age or younger. And if you do have a dependent, well, then you need to make sure to use the non-filers tool so you can ensure that you get that additional 500 payment for your dependent. If not, you're good. They should be getting the payments to you automatically. It's just a matter of time of them figuring everything out and making sure they have all the systems in place so that you get your stimulus check paid to you the same way that you would normally receive your benefits. So whether that's a check in the mail, direct deposit, however you normally receive your benefits, you should be receiving your stimulus check the same way. It's just that they're taking a while to be able to work with these individual agencies in order to figure out how to get the payments to you as quickly and securely as possible. With that being said, make sure to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you sign up for Webull Investing App down below, one free stock when you sign up for a Robinhood Investing App. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.